Okay, uh, this is going to be another video about one of these exams. I've got a picture of some of the folders I have, so you can look at this. This exam is, if you remember, there was somebody named John Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald Kennedy. Fitzgerald is the big word here, and so I disguised the exact firm it comes from. And this, this is a difficult uh, uh, exam in, 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 one, in, in just one respect. And it illustrates a few things about people being asinine, as usual. And it, and it illustrates uh, 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 how you need if you're going to do a little more advanced test, you just need to understand one or two sculpting formulas. I'm sorry about that. But you need to understand some math and not force things with gold seeks, not force things, say, I can do a copy and paste macro, so I'm cool. Please, just a little bit of, 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 of uh, equations. Now, I am stranded. Because of this hurricane that's around New York, I, I, I my fl flight got uh, crazy, and I'm in some little, very interesting hotel. So I'm not showing you my picture today. It's bizarre. I can't find cheap ones, you know. I try to stay at uh, eighty dollars a hotel. Okay. So let's get started. Here is the test. And Fitzgerald, uh, uh, and maybe later we'll mention the other part of the uh, investment bank's name, and why is it taking so long just to open Word? Uh, okay, <laughs> that's not a good way to start. Okay, that was a pretty bad start. It's like my day has been going. So, <clears throat> John Fitzgerald, Fitzgerald uh, uh, sent a request that you're supposed to have do this. Uh, uh, I hope there's not, not too much background noise, music, whatever. Uh, uh, you're supposed, you have four hours. So the first thing, these people who wrote this thought, <laughs> Cool, I'm going to test these people really hard. So let's read the test. Now, I'm going to relax a little bit because I don't have a two-hour or one-hour time pressure, but I'm going to be arrogant and say this is not that long a test. They're building a, 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 a toll road in Senegal. It's going to have cars and trucks. Toll road has a life in, in two, till 2050. We should almost begin reading this. Well, just maybe think about it. You're going to put the timing at first, but then we're going to make it flexible. So they want to show you, ah, I'm so cool, I can make a flexible timeline. Okay. And then they say, well, we're acquiring this toll road. So the good news is there's not a construction period. Okay. You don't have circular reference related to the to the... Uh, uh, just a minute. God damn it. The, another phone. I got it so wrong. Okay, so there's Jackie. It's Jackie modeling test. Now, the, the, so we're going to, uh, 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 a mixture of equity and acquisition financing, which I suppose means debt. Now we suddenly have the key thing in the whole case. And uh, just a minute. Note to modeler, please assume it for an, an uh, 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 you will acquire the toll road. Uh, okay, I, somewhere they said you're supposed to do it uh, semi-annually, I think. Where, where is that? <coughs> I already read this, obviously, and I disguised it a little bit. Okay, JFK has been able to secure financing. Here is the big deal. Why it's in a different font is kind of interesting. Debt sized on 1.35 times DSCR. But, 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 80% cap. 
And what you need to do is as soon as, and, and then 3% all in cost of debt, if it's, which it means it's, it's kind of a little old because the interest rate was really low, but you need to understand DSCR equals CFADS divided by debt service. And I, I, I think I'll save this one on the disk. And obviously, you need to send me an email to get me a, to get all these files and the answers and all that. Uh, uh, I think I put it on the website sometimes too. And then you need, and and then you say, well, debt uh, service equals. CFADS divided by DSCR. So that's your big one. And then you need PB of debt service at interest rate equal debt. And debt is capped if it is above 80% of total project cost or acquisition cost. Okay, now then they say, okay, you're going to escalate, blah, blah, blah. And, uh, oh, here, here, just a minute. Oh, no, okay. And then they tried to say, oh, let's get, oh, operational, it's completed at 100 million of the construction cost. And see i.e. at acquisition. It doesn't say that's the acquisition price. Okay, and then it's got some toll rates. You're going to have to put some operation assumptions in. And the daily traffic was uh, 3,500 and 1,500 per day. Uh, uh, the traffic uh, 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 from the COD, I've got to add... Uh, some things the COD from including to the track the traffic goes at three percent per annum and the truck by two percent okay so we have inflation rates and we just gotta do some indices and do them really fast and don't put them in one formula it's gonna I'm gonna really be pissed off today because I lost my flight I'm gonna yell at these people and I'm gonna yell at you because I know you're gonna do it wrong you're gonna do it the way you learned in in, in school, or you're going to do it the way you learn from Mazars, or you're going to do it from the F1, F, uh, F9 things, or even my friend Ken. Huh. And then they have a, a, a thing here. And then they say, oh, uh, uh, for traffic, there's an ongoing discussion that if, so they need a, 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 a if the traffic exceeds 15, 5,000, I'll, I'll put here, use indices not one formula please do it like at least like that please don't think you're too good and think oh all i need to do is understand the sculpting okay uh, uh, and for traffic there's going to be a discussion when the traffic exceeds 5,000 cars per day so it starts at 3,000 then you're going to pay the government in real terms not in inflate you're going to have to inflate it for the portion of the traffic exceeding, and use a minimum uh, function here. Not if. So this asshole who wrote this thought, oh, I'm going to test if they really are shit and use uh, 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 if statements. And then uh, we, we need to split the fixed and variable cost uh, has both uh, uh, per vehicle uh, uh, two two dollars per annum, not per semi annum, per annum per vehicle, two thousand and uh, 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 we gotta put this to be. I changed the dates around, so this this should be two thousand twenty five and twenty five because it used to be two thousand twenty one. Just to make things, just to be jerks, they put working capital and they put. 60 days of payable, so you, you have to, the poor people who work have to wait two months to get paid. What an idiotic assumption this is. And how is there 30 days outstanding when you get you collect your revenues when you put your little money in the toll or you put your credit card in the toll? You don't have to wait. What kind of ridiculous assumption is that? But they won't be cool. Now, this is where it gets nasty. 
they said use a corporate tax rate and when you have a, 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 a and then they said oh you don't even have to use a nol oh good for them accounting depreciation is the same as de a, a regular depreciation over 20 years and and what happens then is is you got some if you pay more for this asset you you uh, 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 if you pay more, it's uh, and and remember this, it's a little bit tricky. This is not the the way I read that. This is not the acquisition price up here. Okay, wherever that one hundred million is. Okay. Uh, uh, okay, it's uh, that's the and and we don't know if we get to depreciate the premium we pay. Let's let's assume that you can. That it's not some kind of goodwill or something else, or we don't, you know, that, that's a little tricky. We'll just assume. Now, JFK Partners would uh, would like to determine if the headline price it could pay for the asset, while achieving an eight percent IRR if it were able to hold the end with no share. Okay, so first of all, then up here, when we do this, we're also going to put a uh, uh, use a not one zero use true false flag now the reason I said the taxes were so horrible this is going to create a a circular reference because uh, uh, because uh, taxes are affected by interest and taxes affect the CFADS and CFADS drives debt that size which drives interest. Okay, so these assholes, instead of having, they think it's really important that you know, you seem to know how to do a copy and paste macro, and they're really arrogant, and copy and paste macros really, really suck, and I'm going to have a second part of this video where I show you, or maybe I'll just, um, I, I, yes, I'll make it a video, where I show you how to implement the UDF in, in, in this kind of situation and do it with our the, the template analysis. Now, JFK Partners would like to determine if the headline price it could pay was, now they're, they want a goal seek, basically. So the headline price is, is not the, the, the cost, it's the price. Now, I suppose for depreciation, we have to think about whether we would depreciate the headline price or, Let's depreciate the, 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 the total price. Okay, let's assume that we, we get to do that. That means that sellers will realize again, sorry about chewing on a cookie I bought from the vending machine. And then you're supposed to do all the sensitivities. Now, the sensitivities, we don't know if, if the, uh, 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 at the end of the base case. Uh, uh, what happens if you increased inflation, increased variable O and M, changed the debt, added uh, uh, something to the life, JFK partners, and that means we're going to use an input C file. We're going to use an input C file and structure the the, the inputs really carefully. Uh, and then they say, well, oh, this is kind of cool. What happens if uh, in, in 2030, after five years, you can sell the asset for 7%? What would, how would that change the, the, the price? So you're going to have to put a kind of a valuation into this. So that's a little bit more interesting. Clearly, the person who wrote this was a complete asshole. And where does it say you're supposed to do this semi-annually? Just a minute. Uh, on a semi-annual basis, okay? So that's what we have. I'm gonna, I'm gonna include this JFK with notes. Now the other one didn't didn't open. Okay, so let's 
let's get started. Okay, so the, we we first, you, you know, if you don't use generic macros, I kill you. Not really. But how stupid to think you are so fancy with your little special Excel that you're really good. If you ever use a paintbrush, go to hell. Really, don't watch this video. If you ever use a paintbrush, if you ever press Control-1 and start fiddling around with the formats with Control-1, forget it. Don't watch this. Don't watch this, please. You you want to go really fast with the formatting, the coloring, the, 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 the things that you might think in, in university are important, because they're not, because that can be done mechanically. But at least press a few little things here. They're nice and small, not too big. And that's important. And let's call this input C. Now, when, whoops, uh, if we do it fancy, we'll not have a, a, a thing there. And then we'll put our model. And I suppose you could even put a, a, a summary page that's going to show you all the outputs. OK, now in when uh, and, and, and let's do the same kind of thing. So I just wasted a little bit of time because we could have selected all the sheets and done that. And then we're going to structure the model. And we're going to begin with with time. And then we're going we're going to put in maybe so B is going to be kind of a big thing. And we put acquisition uh, uh, date. And, and the acquisition date they had was 12-31-2024. And you use shift control F3 even if you're in the U.S. and think, oh, that's not the way you do dates in the U.S. Screw you. Otherwise, you're going to waste a whole lot of time formatting dates. And then you're going to put the, the uh, uh, life, the... the I will call it the life uh, of the road. Now, oh God, uh, um, if you know, uh, 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 after which point it will be decommissioned. The total, yeah, they said life. Okay, so it's going to go till 2050. Now, uh, 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 end of life. So th that's, let's put 12, 31, 2050. Okay. And we can put date, diff, that's a nice thing. And take this one and this one and put comma years. And uh, I think we have to put minus one because it, they said to make it at 25. So we could do this, or I would do something better. I would copy, paste special as values, and put equal e date, this one, comma, this, and uh, 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 this times 12. Sorry about that. Uh, uh, and uh, this this one maybe plus one. I'm sorry, I'm already getting screwed up. Okay, let's get that right. Sorry about that. And then they 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 also have another date, which is a sale date. And and let's go ahead and put all the dates in at the same time. And, and the reason we have to be really careful is we might want to extend the life by uh, uh, five years, remember. Okay, so the, 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 they got a 15-year tenor, and the, we, we could also put start of inflation, but right down here, 1231-2030, okay? And now don't get all fucking worked up about whether it's the beginning of the year or the end of the year. Because they did it semi-annual, we were going to do it in both, in two different ways. And our, our, our columns are going to have to be 
more than 100, okay? And we're going to start with some time flags, all right? And then let's put a, a capacity and volumes. How's that? So don't start with anything about money. Nothing. Now, I, I already had made a, an extremely important mistake, and, and I have, uh, an, uh, if you, uh, uh, okay, everything put a, a thing in. And what is this, the, the, the capacity of the road? I, we should have a faster way to do this. But we're going to go and kind of tick off every single one of these things, okay? A 50 kilometer, <coughs> okay? So we are not going to really use that because the tolls do not uh, uh, are not affected by this. And then we can put uh, 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 the 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 uh, car initial car. Uh, 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 traffic and be really careful here because now now first of all I, I would not when they start putting things in thousands and all that that is gonna really screw you up so uh, uh, they put the the debt in the wrong place obviously and they put the CPI pro well yeah they put that in the wrong place too and the construction cost in the wrong place, but here, okay, 3,500 cars per day. Okay, if we really get fancy, we'll put the number of days we have in a period. So put that in, okay, and then they, they, uh, the next one they have is... Uh, 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 trucks per day, okay? Okay, control D, go fast, 1,500. And up here, if you want, you, to keep things consistent, shift control W. Well, I don't have generic macros open yet, but I'm going to. Okay. Notice I, I, I'm I'm kind of going slowly right now, but we'll, we'll go a lot faster when we when we do this. And you're going to absolutely color the sheets and all that shit. Okay. And there we go. And then we have a, 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 a car volumes. A, a, Increase and truck volume increase. And there we put percent P dot A and, uh, uh, and and that initial we, we might have even put that it was for that first year and and the car is two and the truck, is, the car is three and the truck is one. Now that's an enormous growth rate. That's, that, that's like, you, you know, when we talk about global warming and we talk about uh, uh, economic growth, 3% real, well, okay, maybe that's, could be the, if this was in Europe, you'd want the, the traffic to go down, I hope. Okay, whatever, I shouldn't have said that. Probably not. Okay, and then, well, then they have this discussion of the, of, of, of the formula. If the traffic exceeds 5,000 cars per day, then uh, the, the government will pay the Okay, so what we'll do here is is just put uh, apply uh, limit, and that let's put a flag 
And at first we'll put false. And we'll allow, and, and if they say, oh, put one zero and put a little, uh, go to control one and do that. Oh, what a waste of goddamn time. Okay. And then, hoo, 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 uh, and, and then put uh, a traffic limit. And, and make sure that this this is in the same units. Okay. And that was uh, 5,000. So that's not that much. I, I'm pressing, now I'm pressing Shift Control W to make them all consistent. Okay. And, and then, so, so that's our volumes. And then let's put our revenue. How about we'll put our CapEx. CapEx, and then put initial. Now, now that that CapEx could be used for for, and they said 100 million, and don't put it in millions, idiots. Do not put it in millions. Do everything in the same unit so you don't get confused. How about we'll put CapEx, <coughs> Revenues, and OpEx, because, because this is really what drives everything. Now, they did not tell you these. Uh, 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 they did not tell you that you're supposed to kind of compute the, the, the project IRR. Well, amazing, because these people are, oh, God, I can't stand them. Uh, 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 they don't know that kind of that's really the starting point always and the way you I you should design this test is to do that but let's put toll rate toll rates and five for the truck and five for the car okay and this is USD per car I suppose it is I hope it is uh, 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 <sighs> uh, uh, okay, and, and, and then it's uh, uh, okay, and it, uh, uh, where is it? Five and ten, and then uh, uh, the, the the we we got the uh, inflation. Just a minute, the the oh shit, traffic grows. Where, where's the inflation? Uh, 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 they say Rhea, please implement. Okay, the toll road has. Uh, where, where's? Oh, they have the macro up here. All revenues are, are, and costs escalate by the CPI, which is forecast to be two two percent from 2022. Now we could be fancy. So so when we do the, uh, let's do the macro here. Uh, okay, and and let's let's put the uh, and and put that in a percent p dot a. We got to be really careful, and I think it was two percent. And and let's put uh, and let's put one slash one slash two thousand twenty five. Okay. So we, we need a start date, and, and they're looking for if you can be fancy and, and start inflation at different dates and understand when you say real, real has the time element in it. Okay, and, and the toll rates were three, I think, for the car. If you press Shift, Control, Q, you get that. Control, D, and for the truck, they were... We're five. So we've already wasted a lot of time on just getting the inputs in. And I'm sorry, you can, if you want to try this yourself, maybe the best thing is to just take these inputs. Now, I do have to tell you something. After the reason to structure these inputs like this is so important in this case. Uh, and then, uh, do we have the, the growth rate in the traffic? I forgot. Uh, uh, I think so. Uh, the reason to structure it like this is that 
uh, and we've got to put the fixed and variable, is, is down here for the sensitivities, they want the base place, and then they put, uh, uh, then, then you can go down here and across, you can put here inflation uh, uh, plus whatever it is, 0.5%. Okay, and then inflation minus, whoop, minus 0.5%. And we can do all of those things. What I'll do is pause the video for just a second. I mean, I, I, I'm not, this one, I'm, I'm not going to worry about the time so much. And, and, and now let's put the uh, 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 variable O&M now in a real traffic. This is how it would work. Uh, uh, the, the variable O&M would be a, a, a resurfacing cost, or, well, that could be more like fixed, but if you have a whole bunch of truck traffic, it's going to, you might have to do your resurfacing, it might take more work, and you might have to do it earlier, so whatever. We have per vehicle, and then... They have per km, which is 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 just okay. We we get the total km, but they put it in thousands just to make you kind of see. So the variable is USD per, which okay, um, was that two, and then the the fixed was USD, not USD of thousands per km. And, and so we do need the km just for that input alone. And the km is 10,000, not 10. Don't put 10. And I'm sure this kind of stuff, you're not going to listen to me on. And don't, but, uh, uh, and, and these are, these are real. 2025, I think. Okay. Is that, is that what they were? So if we're really careful, if they're real in 2025, you don't want to start escalating them until the next year. So let's assume that, and we might want to really write that uh, 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 down, and then we can put working capital. Uh, uh, and this was totally useless. A R. Uh, in our days. And why don't we, we just put below that A R percent uh, revenue. So the A R days are, uh, are 30 days. And so that if we take 30 divided by 365, if you want to be fancy, we've got 8%. Uh, okay. And, and then we can put A P days, and let's put 60, and we can do the same thing. Okay, all right. Of, uh, well, they don't say what it is of, of costs. They don't tell you even what it is, or do they? They just say AP cost. That should be a percentage of the cost, not the sales. Okay, fuck, they should tell you that stuff. And then we have the, the corporate tax rate and uh, depreciation. And I'm debating with myself kind of how to do this. Maybe we'll... Uh, 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 and we'll put... Uh, Okay, and uh, um, uh, what was that? Thirty percent, and um, I, if you if you wanted to do that, you'd, you you'd be really fancy. And don't forget, if you're doing a, 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 a semi-annual, you're gonna have to make a little bit of adjustment. What was that? Was it thirty years? Twenty years. Okay, and twenty percent. Okay, got them both wrong. Okay. And then, so, so we're just about finished. 
and we'll do the we'll, we'll do all the rest of it later. But so uh, okay, and um, the the uh, uh, now we have the the debt the financing. So put this like Modigliani and Miller told you to do. I hope you learn more about Modigliani and Miller than professors telling you how to do Excel, really. Uh, 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 and, and then let's put DSCR uh, minimum. That's our, to get our debt size. And that was a times, if you want to be fancy, 1.35. And then we put debt to capital and 80%. Now that was maximum debt to capital. And, and then we put the tenor. Uh, and I think they put 15 years, which is a very short term tenor for a project that has 25 years. Okay, but mm, that's life. That's the inefficiencies of project finance. That's why you have to assume if they would have really done this, they would have made you focus a little more on refinancing. Okay, but you're going to sell the plant and all that stuff. And uh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Now, what they did not tell you is, do these financings, are they established in the base case? And then in the sensitivity cases, do we run them with the fixed financing? And we would have to write that down carefully because the idiots didn't tell you what to do. You could be, when you increase inflation or decrease whatever interest rates, that could imply a different debt size. And, and if we're really fancy, we would do it with both. Excuse me for eating while I'm uh, 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 discussing a video. Okay, so, uh, uh, and then they gave you the interest rate. Okay, so let's do this. And, well, and of course, we have an arrangement for you. Oh. No. Arrangement fee is going to call it a circular reference, but we can fix that. Uh, 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 okay, <laughs> the idiots. <laughs> these these ass. I can tell it's one of these young people. Is, oh, I can go so fast in Excel. I can fix a circular reference. I can. Nah, nah, nah. Um, uh, uh, instead of just having you think. Uh, 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 Okay, and so what happens is if we have more financing, we have more fees. If we have more, uh, uh, and we're going to have a goal seek with a circular reference. So this has a lot of painful shit out, okay? All right, shift control, uh, 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 this one, and I'm not going to put a title on here. I'm not going to put this, but we'll do this one. And at least make it look good. At least. And don't waste time on, on, on your little formatting. I think when you go to Wall Street prep or these these people, I had a, a kind of a discussion where they wanted to do a class, and I never followed up. I said, ah, screw it. I'll ri I'd rather make videos for my friends for nothing so I can stay in a cheap little hotel. Okay, so... Then we're going to do almost the same thing. Now, let's start with our timing here. And a controversial thing, we need to move over a bunch of columns because we're going to have a sum column, a, 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 a column where we bring the constants over and all that. And let's start with, maybe we'll start in J1. And we know we have to go at least to 25 years, but that's 50. And we have to have a space for the initial year. And so let's go to 70. E Alt E I S, tab 70. OK? And then below the timing, we can put, uh, 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 um, let's put the, the acquisition period. Uh, no, no. Let's, let's just put the start of period and end. Uh, period. Now, now, now. There, the, 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 we have the acquisition period. Uh, 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 I guess we, we just got to be really careful. Lee. 
let, let's, let's put the date before the acquisition period. So let's go to this date. I'm going to put E date of this date minus 6. Oh. That, that I kind of messed up maybe, but something like this. And then we put this date, uh, 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 so the, the start date of this will be this plus 1, and the end date will be E date, this comma 6, and then you could even, if you know, these people I can tell are such jerks, they would make you put that there are six months in, in, in a period and all that. And, and if you do this, it gives too much, so you, you have to put minus one, and then you press shift control R, and then don't do, if you do this period by period, if you waste your time uh, uh, doing it one by one, or, or do that thing where you put the length in, what a goddamn waste of time. So now let's put the, the, the uh, acquisition uh, uh, let's put the acquisition period here. Now, th and this one, so you, you could, I could get in trouble, I suppose this will put a date and, and no, this is going to be a flag. And then we'll put this date in and we'll get this as the acquisition period. We need a period, and we'll put this one equals this one. If you put an if statement, you should be you should be slapped on the hand. Uh, 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 shift control B, shift control R. Okay, and then we put operation period, and, and, and then we'll do the same thing. This will be a flag, and we'll put the operation period in as the uh, uh, from the, after the acquisition date until the end of the life, and it should be 50 periods if we do it right. And, and we'll put this as our units. Uh, this is a constant, and we'll make another space for a constant, and then we'll have our, our sum. Uh, yes, and, and then uh, maybe we don't need this. Let, let's just, yeah, we, we, we don't need this. And that's this is our initial value. Okay, so our operation period is equal not this, and then we need an and. Okay. It's not that, and this period, we're going to use the end of the period has to be less than or equal to this one. Now that might not be right. Shift control B, shift control R, and that's where we put shift control V, and we get a sum, and I've got too many periods, and it's got to be, and, and, and so I should have made this one not plus one like that. Okay, that that's what, uh, and that's how you Test. And okay, I made an error. I make a lot of errors like this. And that getting that timeline is kind of a really, really big deal. And eventually we can even put the sale date. And we'll put that with a flag. And we'll put that as a, a, uh, a, a where did I, oh, I put that way up here. So we get all the, the kind of dates consistent. And we take this end of period and make it equal to that one. And then shift control B, shift control R. And we better make sure we only have one shift control B for one sale day. You waste your time on this uh, and you don't do it right. I would, that, if, if I was that Gordon Ramsay asshole, I would say, oh, that's a bad cooking thing or whatever. Or those idiots, those horrible reality shows that some people in my horrible family watch instead of learning about global warming. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's put uh, uh, capacity and volumes. And to see how we're going to do this, let's start with, uh, road capacity, 
and we put that in, in km, okay, and and then we put uh, car volumes. Now, when you do this, we can say the the thing where uh, we 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 can put. Let's do it really fancy. Units of output. Now, what Kenny would do is he would make you do this one, uh, maybe over here. Whoops. Control X, Control V. If I, ah, this computer is, I don't know how many. <laughs> Get your don't don't be like me. Okay, and, and uh, <laughs> uh, units of input. So units maybe four. Uh, uh, input. So we, we're gonna we're gonna do it really really fancy like that. Okay, How, how's the time? I don't want to miss my plane again like last night. Okay, and for car volumes we put uh, 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 cars per day, and then you know we better be really fancy down here and put days in period because we're gonna use them. And just say, okay, well, let's take the end date minus the start date. Because we put that minus there, you're going to have to put a plus one. That's how many days we have in the period. So if we have cars per day, uh, uh, we're going to get over there. Uh, 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 and we'll call them base. And then we'll have growth uh, 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 index. How's that? Why not? And then car volumes uh, with growth. Okay, let's do that one. So in this, this will just put an index. We, no, that what we'll grab is the escalation. Uh, no, percent P A, percent P dot A. Okay, and uh, uh, but then this will be cars per period, okay, and this will be an index, and then we'll, we'll, we'll have, uh, uh, th this is the same thing as this one, okay, and then I suppose let's do the whole thing here and copy this and, and put uh, uh, up here truck volume. Uh, I hope that I spelled it close to being right. You can use uh, F7, you know, to, to do that. Uh, uh, okay. <sighs> and this must be really boring, but people seem to watch this boring shit. I can't believe that you could watch this. Uh, uh, oh. I can't believe anybody would would watch this and even give me a thumbs up on this kind of crap. Okay, so let's put our inputs right in here. So we have 50 here, and then we have the car volumes, and hopefully we set this up pretty nice. Shift Control W, by the way, and and then we have truck volumes. Okay, and 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 then you're showing these people much more important for me than even doing the rest of the stuff that you're going to think about it really pretty carefully. So so we, we let's put this one. So we only have th this one only exists F4 if you want to press F4 three times good and then you you go up to the operation period and if you want to press F4 how many times you do it. Shift control W though, shift control R. Whoops. Of course, I did it wrong. Uh, 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 F11, my favorite key, times F6, which is that? Which, where? No, the operation period, of course. 
Okay? And you keep those up the top, no matter what these Mazars and Kenny and everybody else says. And then, if you want the cars, you, you, you put the cars in, and you're, you're nice and transparent. You, you put them in. F4 a couple times if you want. And I'll, I'll, I'll screw it. I'm not going to do that anymore. Times the, 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 the volumes. <laughs> oh, come on. Again, it's this computer. I, I, I do have a slightly better computer that I got killed at. Fun. And then we'll, we'll put our index, a, a growth index. And this one we know is, well, we, we got to be really careful when we read this. Oops, it says for the cars. Okay, it says for the cars that. Uh, from and including 2025. So the escalation doesn't happen until 2026. So what we could put, uh, 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 we're going to have to do this is, uh, uh, let, let's, let's do it here. I would, to be really, really precise, I would put, Uh, period. Okay, and this is going to be a, a date, and we're going to start at E date of the this one, comma, 12. Okay, so we start at the end of 2025, and, and then how about plus one? So let's let's start it right, and and this is going to be a flag. So if we really read it carefully, we put uh, uh, that the, the, we go up to this date here at the beginning, and it's got to be greater than or equal, uh, greater than, we, we, we put this date up here, and we say greater than or equal to this date. And we shift control B, shift control R. So that's when we escalate it. And then in our escalation, Here's what we have to do. If we're really careful, we cannot, if it's a semi-annual period and these assholes are doing all this stuff to screw you up, we put plus at one, and then you, the escalation period is one plus three percent raised to the, to the, you, you know, I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to, I think this is, should be allowed. If it's not, go to hell. Okay. Oh, great. Another, the same phone call. What, what, why? Is there something on tele? Okay, one plus, there's 3% raised to the one half power minus one. Okay, that's our, it's not, we don't divide it by two. And when we do this, whoops. Um, when we do this one, We'll do the same thing. We'll get our uh, uh, volume increase. Now that this has been a pain, but they gave us four hours. Okay. So then we put this one times one plus. We we should put percent PA slash PP or something. F4 times inside the bracket our flag. Okay, and then we we have our escalation index, okay? And then we can put our escalated traffic as this times this. So you can see that these people are obsessed with you being able to effectively do this. And, and then instead of wasting your time with your little underlines, press shift control E, okay? And take the V-O-L-U-M-E-N, -E okay? And then for the truck volumes, we, we, we do the same thing equal this times the operation period uh, uh, that's that one right shift control w shift control r per day uh, 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 growth index we put our little one here they can object to that if they want you could even make a range name called one i had to do that once uh, this one times one plus this one 
times inside the bracket the the escalation factor so we're really careful and we don't overdo this and everybody i've done who have uh, 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 had do do this i said oh you don't have to tell me that you don't have to tell me that oh, i want to use sculpting i want to do all that but this kind of stuff if you're failing a test this I would say would be more of the reason, and, and certainly if I was evaluating some somebody and they did all this stuff kind of nicely and laid it out clearly, and then let's put uh, uh, revenues, uh, uh, expenses, uh, and capex, and we'll have the same problem with 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 the first one why don't we just go ahead and put the cap x whether we use this or not I, I, I'm going to use this initially uh, uh, initially for the depreciation and put of course you do it now with you, you, you don't put it in thousands or anything please please don't do that I know everybody will and, and, and multiply this by the acquisition periods because we can just stick that in one period. Shift Control W. Oops. Does that work? Okay. We're 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 going to have to probably extend it a little bit more. Okay. And and what we'll we'll, we'll do here is, is we'll. Uh, uh oh. What happened here? Did I did I uh, uh, switch around the formatting or something? Why? Oh, shit. Okay. Increase. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, damn it. Okay, and, and if you think, oh, I'm so cool, I'm going to do that little thing where I just put the size in. Okay, do that. Okay, and, and then we, we, we put in, let's put a, in our, our uh, car tolls. And then let's put our real toll rate, our uh, uh, inflation, inflation uh, 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 index, why not? And inflated uh, 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 toll. Rate. And of course, be very careful and put USD per car. It's not per car per day, it's just USD per car. And this one will be the, for the input, we'll put percent P dot A, and we'll have to get it into a semi annual basis. And then this will be USD per car. And then we'll put car tolls. Okay, and, and then we'll, we'll put the same thing for. Uh, uh, trucks, okay. Okay, and then and then finally, why don't we just put a, a, a car revenues and truck revenues? Now, what I would suggest doing is they didn't ask you. To, to we yes you know what we should do is put right here let's put the uh, uh, maximum uh, 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 volumes the uh, total volumes and then we put the maximum volumes uh, 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 and then why don't we uh, 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 and that's just gonna that that will be uh, and and this will be okay. So this one we we go and get our our thing from the side, and that's our five thousand. Whoops. That's my daughter. Okay, on that one, I, I had to uh, 
Uh, I had to stop recording for a minute, and I think uh, Shift Control W. So, so let's th this is our, let's get our total volumes up here. Suppose we could even start everything in in the right uh, uh, place. Shift Control R, and then if if we uh, uh, just a minute. Did, is it, they, they can't they can't have said that the traffic limit in in cars oh, oh god uh, uh, uh. this is in, in in cars per day what are they doing all growth goes to the to the government is is that what they're saying did I do that wrong uh, 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 for the portion uh, that there's an un, it, it, car traffic, not truck traffic. Then they need to pay the government three U.S. dollars out of the five dollars uh, for the exceeding. So let's do it uh, right. This this is a, 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 a pi car traffic. Okay. Uh, L I M. Okay, and and so this is total volumes of cars, not not. And 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 then maximum volumes. I can't. I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh uh uh. uh, uh let let's. Okay, and and then let, let let's do this. Uh, with lower. Okay, and, and then we put <sighs> the the. Uh, Let's take uh, uh, the the limit is this minus this, but if it's minus, it doesn't matter. So you put a maximum of this or zero on there. That's what you've got to do, and that's no if statement. So so this is, and then we can adjust our volumes for uh, 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 volume difference. Uh, uh, vol I'm gonna rename this. Okay. So you, you can see what I'm doing. I mean, I, I, I haven't done this before ever. You just have to kind of practice. OK. Uh, OK, somebody's complaining about uh, uh, paying too much. OK, and then we, we have the CapEx. And now let's put the real rate of the toll in there. And I'm getting so sick of this, I can't stand it. Okay, shift control Q. Let's just flatten this out. And and then let's let's put uh, uh, inflation apply. And and we're going to do the same thing for for a flag. And. and uh, uh, where was that? This was the, uh, and well, we'll put a date here first. Now I'm going to cheat just on this one. I, I, I can't get so, yeah, shift control three, and then we'll, we'll, uh, uh, <sighs> over here, uh, how, how did we do it? We put a flag, and we just put this is, and again, we're using the first period, so it's greater than or equal. Now, now, now let's do this Alt W F F so we keep all our dates in sight, and that's absolutely crucial in any of this stuff. So we'll put the inflation index applied. We'll start with our initial value of one, and then we'll say, well, when this number is greater than or equal to to that, greater than I said. 
to that, we'll press F4, Shift Control B, Shift Control R. Okay, and then the, for the inflation index, everything is just at a nice old two percent. And and this this should have been one January of twenty six, so we'll do it right. And, and, and then did I? Uh, uh, this this should come from here. One plus this uh, uh, raised to the to the one half power minus one. Okay, and this is an index. And we didn't need this number here, but we needed this number here. And we said equal this times one plus the, the inflation index, which is really not exactly one. Uh, uh, it, it's just low because of that, whatever, because we're, when we raise it to power, it doesn't mean much. And then we multiply that by, by this number to get it all right. Okay. And, and it just ir irritates the heck out of me when, when people do this all in one formula. And so we could put our inflated toll rate now with a nice transparent equation. And, and, and I'm repeating myself so much, it's ridiculous, but please, this is this is this is more important than than the other thing, and then let's put this in USD. So we have USD per car, and we multi we have the traffic up here, and car volumes with the growth. Okay, so we have number of cars, that Shift Control W in case, and maybe we'll put a Shift Control E to get a little underline on that. Okay, and then we'll put the, the, for this one, let's do the same thing. We, we get the real toll rate, uh, the inflation index, eh, we don't really need that, but let's leave it. Uh, and then let, let's put USD per truck. Okay, and get our input C for the truck rates. Shift control that one, F4, shift control this one, put our index in again, shift control Q, shift control R, multiply these together, and we get the, the inflated rates, and so we can get our truck tolls as, as this. Uh, uh, the, the volumes from the truck. And, and please, again, I can't emphasize enough to do this one. And then if you have been wasting time with, uh, 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 if you have been wasting time with uh, 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 formatting, that's just criminal. We, we have eight on the top this time. And I'm going to use a top one. I'm going to use a sum column. To show we're really fancy, and then we we just do it with a hum. That's the whole point is not to get too excited with colors, but to really uh, 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 kind of show what's going on. And maybe then, if you want to get really fancy, you really don't need the, the grid lines anymore. Okay. Okay. And so we've got our, our revenues. Uh, 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 well, we, we just need our, our truck revenues, and let's put our total revenues. Okay, so, whoops, uh, uh, well, we've already got those. Okay, and that's going to be this plus, plus this. And I hope I didn't... Just a minute. Did I? This is per day, and we've got all of our adjustments per day because we have the days up at the top. I think we we've done it okay. So this is USD, and this is USD. Now let's. And what I would do here is because revenues are one of the three items, I put Shift Control G here, and for the capex, I would put. Shift Control G here because that's we need three things: capex, revenues, and opex. So let's put our opex at 
and, and then this one, we're going to put the same inflation index uh, for OPEX. And this will be an index. And let's just get this. I'm so sick of doing the inflation, I can't tell you about it. I mean, okay, one is, is good enough. And then let's put our fixed OPEX. X and we we've got to be really careful with the units now. Uh, uh, we have fixed real and was this per year? <laughs> uh, uh, let's let's look and two per vehicle. Okay, it doesn't say assholes, you jerks. You complete jerks. It doesn't say whether it's per year or per semi-annual. Let's assume it's per year. And we should write really nasty things. You idiots, don't tell us on this one if it's KM per year. Okay. So if we, we, we put a uh, uh, fixed per KM dash year. See these people, they... I think they're so smart and they're a little tricking of you and all that stuff. And then we have to make sure here and take this and divide it by two. And you can say, ah, because we then have to do it per period. And then we have USD per period. And that's real. Fixed of uh, uh, real. Okay. And that's only going to be over the. Uh, uh, thing. So take this one, multiply it by the, the uh, capacity, and you probably don't even have to then do anything. Uh, uh, and they're kind of doing this as if it was some kind of electricity project or something. Okay. So they, they just try to trick you a little bit with, with getting the, these things right. And then put variable. And how did we do this one? We put at two per vehicle. Uh, and and we, we still have to spend it whether they put that limit on us or, or not. Okay. And, and then, uh, uh, then we're going to just put that in USD per period. And we could, would he, could even put real. Okay, but for now, let's just take our two, multiply that by the total vehicles per period. Uh, uh, total. And we didn't get that yet. Ah, okay, let's put the total vehicles up here. Again. This one plus uh, car bonds. Okay. And then, you know what I would suggest we do? Uh, save the file, F12, because if, if I had done this and didn't save this, I would be kind of pissed. J F K uh, project. Okay. And uh, uh, let's let's put this in. Let's go over here. F four multiply that by uh, F four multiply that by the uh, uh, total vehicles. I really, uh, you know, I watch videos about global climate change, depressing things, the Ukraine. Oh, I get so depressed. But this is so boring. I would never watch a video this boring. I guess maybe if, if you're, uh, you know, nervous, alt equal, shift control R, let's, let's put shift control G. And don't forget to, of course, I didn't forget to multiply it by the inflation index. So now we have the big deal. We have our EBITDA, OK? 
And then before we get into the taxes and depreciation, I think we should uh, uh, put our working capital in. Oh, shoot. What's going on? Oh, no. Uh, uh, I, I think these, these things look about right. What did I do wrong? Truck tolls. And then we, I, I took this 5 and multiplied it by 20, which was the volumes per day. And, and where did I multiply this one? By the number of days. Oh. And where did I multiply this one? By the number of days. OK. Oh. Okay, when you get something like this wrong, uh, don't say, I, I, I'm, I'm tempted to say somebody made a really big mistake, shift control V for, for maybe to get a sum of some of this stuff. You know, we, we can kind of, maybe you can uh, 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 shift control V. That could be right, shift control V. So we get 295 of, of revenues. And for the CapEx, we have this. And we can see how many car tolls we get versus how many truck tolls we get. OK? And it's a very good idea to put that sum in. And you have to redo the, the coloring now to color that sum a little bit differently. Somewhere. Where did I put the sum before? I th oh, I put it up here. It doesn't color it in the top. OK? Uh, and then, let, so let's go to our, our working capital section. Now, this one I would just simply state uh, A, uh, R, uh, 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 outstanding. And then let, let, let's put in USD. No, this is, this is uh, percent revenues. A idiotic, such an idiotic. And, and what, what you might do is you say in a very polite way, what are you guys doing? What kind of what kind of toll collection where you put your little money in the toll box and you have to wait a month for people to get it back? What are you assuming? <laughs> you get it every day. I think you do. Uh, but, but of course, the modelers have to just say, I don't care about that. I'm used to seeing this. So that's our level. And, and then you put AP outstanding. Uh, whatever. Oh, jeez. And, and then let's put percent expenses. Get our number. And, and the good news is we're kind of getting down here with all the inputs, with all the crap. And, 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 and this, is, this is in just USD. Uh, uh, and, and then, uh, so let's take this one, F4, multiply it by the total expenses. OK, and then we get our, our network and capital, which is just in USD. I'll just put it over here. We can put it over here, too, I guess. You decide what your, what your stupid rules are going to be. And it's negative working capital, which it should be, probably. And then change in working capital. Now, what we're going to need is for our CFADS, uh, uh, we're going to need, so we, this is really good news. We, we get some added cash flow because we're not paying our poor employees at all. But in project finance, it's always kind of one period until you get to the very end, and then it, it kind of returns. Okay? And then, uh, 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 so now let's put taxes and depreciation. Now, for now, I think we can put, you know what, what I would do is, is maybe let, let's, let's put some pre-tax cash flow. And, and, and let's just lay it out. It, it's going to be 
Yeah. Maybe the less uh, working capital change, uh, less capex, and and we'll call that uh, free uh, cash flow before tax. And, and, and then this one. Okay, this, 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 and let's put our Eddie dot in, and, and then, whoops, let's put our Eddie dot in here, let's put our working capital change in here, let's put our capex in way up here. Now when you do this, you to do a semi-annual return, you can do an IRR and then raise it to the second power and and put minus one, but I'm just going to uh, 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 do this. I left them as positive numbers. You can fight about that, and people get all worried about things like that too. Maybe you should be really careful when it's a negative number. Put it as a negative so you don't have to do the subtraction in the total, and then you put pre tax project IRR. Now, now, this is not for buying the project yet because we're going to back into this whole thing. Uh, uh, I'll put XIRR. So, but show how you do some of this stuff, you know? And maybe you have to put a little note that, ah, uh, uh, this is uh, uh, oh, Hmm. <laughs> okay, I would, we're either not going to have to, we're not going to be able to pay anywhere near 100000 or more likely I made some uh, uh, mistakes. You know what I'm going to do is, ah, oh, shit. I don't see the mistakes I made right here. We had three. USD, we had some truck tolls, we had some toll revenues, and I divided this by half. This was per vehicle, which is really a high operating expense, and this variable expense was uh, you know, a good percentage of the total revenues. So we had two for the expense. We had total revenues of three and five. This variable expense looks too much. So L22. Well, three, well, maybe not, because we have some car rebels. I don't know. Ah, shoot. Okay. Well, you know, I, I, well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to proceed. Okay. And, and let's put tax uh, basis. Now, I, I'm going to, on this one, put an equal sign, go back to this, and add a, up the capex. But I suppose it's a little bit better to, to use the capex up at the top. And, uh, uh, yeah, you know, uh, if maybe some mistake was made, and, and then we put the, the uh, tax uh, depreciation period. And maybe this time, so this is uh, USD, and, and this is dates so this the, it starts at the operation date uh, which is is uh, it, uh, let, let, let's let's put e date uh, this one comma six uh, 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 Plus one, is that right? Uh, 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 no. Plus one right at the end. So, so th this is our this is our start period, 
1 July. No. Shoot. It should be 1 January. It should be our acquisition period. Okay, that's that date. No, let's just put plus one. Okay, we'll start it right there. I, I got to... Uh, okay. I, I, we should have had a COD period here. Did we have a COD period? Not really. Uh, uh, but, but because it was too obvious. It's this plus one. Oh, now I'm all flustered because of that low IRR. Uh, and the CapEx were 100K, right? Well, I, I, I'm going to have to turn the video off and, and, and look at all this. And the end date is, is we, we have equal E date, this one, and, and I'm, this is not quite, uh, you, could, you could do this fancier. But look, we're down to this one times 12, okay? And... and this, if you do it like this, you put, and it's this one is greater than or equal to this one, and then you put this one is less than, not less than or equal to this one. Well, to, to, to this one. And then, and then, uh, 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 we can do a sum, okay? And we get 40 periods, which is 20 years. And then we can put ta tax depreciation rate, okay? And put that as a percentage, and that's 1 divided by this number, okay? Uh, divided by 2. Okay, and, uh, and and then let's put USD and just call it tax dep depreciation. Okay, so uh, uh, take this one times the period times this rate, and we've got our depreciation, and we better press Shift Control V. Did I double count something? No. This should have been 100,000. Oh, I'm getting tired. Uh, I think I might almost have to take a break. Okay, I, I shouldn't have divided by two because this had 40 periods, so I shouldn't have divided by two. And I noticed that this is per annum, so we should have really divided this by two because that we, we made it a, a per, this is per annum, Per vehicle, so so this should have been one per semi-annual period. Okay, and then does that help us much? With our, eh, yeah, kind of. Yeah, it's a lot actually because this is, well, it's it's uh, we got to be so careful with the taxes. We've got a twenty percent tax rate, but pre. Uh, tax IRR, it's starting to be okay. So now we can put uh, uh, EBIT DA less uh, depreciation without, yeah, that's basic depreciation. Now later we'll have fees and interest we have to account for, amortization of fees. Oh God, why do they do this? Do they even realize what they're doing? I, I think the people making these tests should be, oh, they should go to jail. Uh, no, 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 other, no other way to think about it. We put Eddie Daw here, and then let's put the depreciation up here, and then we call this EBIT, and we put USD, and we put this, Minus that, we have a little bit of a loss. That's why they moaned about that tax loss carry forward stuff. And then we put our, our taxes on EBIT uh, 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 rate. 
Okay, we'll get that tax rate from here and we'll put USD. Now, okay, and I am, I think I'm gonna, I, I, I might have to make this whole thing into two parts, or it really three parts. One is, uh, 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 one is without I don't know if it, what they said about negative taxes, but I'm even going to leave that. And then we can put pre-tax cash flow. That's in USD. You could put the USD over here too, I guess. You know, you could get all excited by all this stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. And. Uh, uh, Okay, our, our pre-tax cash flow is this one. <sighs> Less taxes. Okay, which are here. And we're going to minus a minus tax at the beginning to get our after-tax free cash flow. Okay. Oops. This one minus a minus of this one, and we still not now. This is higher than the interest rate. That's the big deal. So eh, we can get it, we can eke out an IRR out, out of that maybe, and then but then we have to count for the taxes and the interest on the taxes. Uh, uh, we can call this project IRR after tax. Okay, and we put IRR and we get that one. Ooh, did the taxes kill us that much? Uh, uh, I suppose they did because we, we, we're paying all those. Uh, is that right? Um, the, these numbers just look, oh, there. of course it's not right. Oh, God. Okay. Sorry about that. I, 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 I'm I, kind of losing it. And I said, I was all relaxed. I said, four hours. Oh, that's not so bad. And, and we haven't got to the financing yet. But the good news is we have all the inputs here. So let's put the financing here. And to get the financing, the first thing I would do is get the debt size. And to get the debt size, the very first thing to do is to get the repayment uh, period. Okay, and we this is going to be the the uh, 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 we can use a date, or this is going to be the years really. And our, our years for repayment are here, 15 years. And what we do is we start e date. And let's go up. I'm going to cheat here. We really needed the COD period. And then we, we, we take 15 years and multiply it by 12 months. So that's, it goes from the COD period uh, uh, to this. So I'm, uh, uh, I almost want three things here. I, I, I'm going to do it like this. Uh, uh, just because these people might be such jerks. Uh, 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 I'll just... Uh, you know, th this is what Kenny does. He, he puts all this stuff in one thing. Well, he doesn't. All his own dooms do that. Okay, and then we, we put an and... And we take it since we're at the beginning of the year greater than or equal to this one. And we go up to the same date and put less than, not less than or equal to this date. And we make sure that shift control B, shift control R, that when we put the shift control V, it gives us our 30 periods. So that's the first essential uh, uh, part of it. And then we put CFADS. 
and we put E B I T B A, and we put less <sighs> working capital changes. And we put less the taxes paid. Now, this is the big problem. I'm going to, for, for now, just to avoid this circular reference, I'm, I'm just going to finish this part, and then we'll, we'll have a second part with all the circular references. How's that? So then after that, we put CFADS. OK, this taxes paid is, should be after we consider the interest. OK, maybe I'll, I'll put this. And, and then let's put uh, CFADS over debt, debt repayment. And then let's put the, the uh, interest rate in, periodic interest rate. Okay, and then we'll put the NPV of, uh, uh, how about this, and I'll put periodic uh, a discount factor, and, and we'll put the NPV of the debt, uh, 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 NPV, just a minute, we, we haven't done that, then we put debt service, uh, uh, over repayment, and we put PV of uh, debt service, and then we brag a little with our sum product. And, and then we, we, we put the, after we get the debt size, let's check it. So let's put our debt uh, balance put our, our opening balance uh, less the the the, the um, how about <laughs> repayment now the repayment is the the DS minus the interest and at least they didn't they gave us one period so closing uh, balance and then we put our interest cost, and, and that interest cost is using the interest rate, and that that so now we can compute this period because we have the debt service here, and we have the interest, and the remainder is the repayment, and we'll put a check of closing balance. Okay, and then we can get our equity cash flows, and we'll do it with our capex first. And so why don't we put the CFADS less debt service uh, uh, and this will be our cash to equity. That's, that's what we have left. And then we have equity uh, 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 total uh, uh, expenditure less the, the debt net equity invested and then we can get our equity cash flow and then we'll get our equity IRR which I think might be less than 8% and what that means is we will have to we will have to uh, uh, adjust our capex and, and maybe what we could do here is put capex slash uh, headline investment or something. They, they, they did something like that, okay? Okay, now uh, I, I'm going to just finish this one up, and then I, I, I just have to stop. I'm going to post the video. And then we'll make a part two. And we've taken at least kind of two hours to get to this stage. So when these people give you four hours, I thought it was a lot. And now I'm changing my mind a little because they were so persnickety with all their crap. 
Okay, so we got this one, and again, we'll take the, this time I'll put a minus, just to be, because foolish consistency is the hobgoblin of a petty mind. I'm going to put my, my cap X as a minus, a minus. And then I, this time I'm going to do something completely inappropriate. But again, this is how I might really do it, with a minus, because uh, um, we... Uh, if you start getting lost on the circularity right now, whether it's a real model or or one of these horrible, disgusting, shitty tests, uh, uh, you you want to get everything right beforehand and then deal with this pain point right at the end. And that's really what's going to be a little more exciting. And then we'll take this cat, th this thing and multiply it by our repayment flag now if you you could have put a false there so you wouldn't take the NPV and then we, we we're starting to get everything in here because now we've got the the, the debt service and, and 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 the other thing we don't have the fee here yet and I suppose down here when when we have this equity cash flow less debt uh, we'll put less uh, 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 fees on on debt and which might create a circular reference too and that we can solve algebraically really easily and now i've given up on on, on all the damn uh, 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 formatting okay so this is going to be a, a, a this is going to be a percent p dot a slash p dot dot p so i just invented a new way to kind of do things i think so our interest rate is that. And you notice, besides our 80%, which there's going to be an issue with, uh, uh, we've got just about everything in here, okay? And uh, uh, we, we need to put that rate. And then just divide this by two. Or if you would get real fancy, you take 360 days and all that stuff where you say, okay, the interest is paid. That Instead of that 184 days, it's 180 days and oh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, but... Uh, to get really excited about that is, is like the stupidest thing. So then we take this one and we multiply it kind of the way we did with the inflation rate. We multiply it by the index. So we only start counting the PV when the index arises. So that's a big trick. Uh, shift control Q. And, and then, uh, uh, yeah, this is kind of rounding. Uh, I, I'm going to call it that, okay? And then uh, 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 then we have the debt service over the repayment period, which is we take the DSCR. We have got this, okay, uh, times, and, oops, and, and, and we get the DSCR over here, and... Then up here we put a, a USD for everything, okay? I don't know if there's an easier way to kind of automatically do it. I need to make a macro that does something on this. No, I don't. Okay, and, and, and then we, we take the, the number, divide it by our, our DSCR, but multiply it by the... No, that's all we do. <sighs> I should have put the discount factor in a different place. Excuse me for, for that. Okay. And then we get our debt service. And to get the PV of the debt service, you can just put equal sum product. And you take the total, this one, and divide it by the this one. Okay. Whoops. Oh, great. Divide it by this And, of course, I did that wrong, too. It's the debt service over the repayment. Okay. And we've got this. This is, is kind of interesting because we don't have anywhere close to the, to the CapEx. We, we could then go... Uh, uh, what we really need to do is, is this is going to be a little circular reference, but we put cap x plus fees. 
Now, I'm, I'm just going to put this just right now, just cap X, because they made this asinine thing with fees, and you're going to have to do a little algebra for that, and I don't feel like doing that right now. And then we put a, a debt as percent of cap X plus fees. And then uh, uh, I would just do it right here. And, and, and we don't have a problem right now, which is really good news. <sighs> and if we did have a problem later on, it, and, and that's because our IRR is so miserably small. And I guess I'm going to stop the video and, and, and then make our second part and see if I can. <coughs> For me, it, 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 st it still seems low. So we'll, we'll look at it again. But let's put the opening balance equal the prior year closing balance. Then we take the debt service minus the repayment in line 114. Is that right? Yes. And the closing balance is the opening balance plus this. And what I should have done up here is put the add the draw. And, and to get the draw, that's going to be, it's going to be a little fancier in a minute, but that's going to be our constrained debt. And we can just take this debt and, and multiply it by our acquisition period and our closing balance has to include that okay and then our interest cost let's just get a, our periodic interest rate and, and, and take the opening balance and multiply that so when somebody gave me this you know if they're feeling bad and, and the opening balance is is this closing balance See about about this about this test. How absolutely crazy is that? What's this? Opening balance is last year closing balance, and then uh, uh, then we we look across and we make sure. Uh oh. Uh, uh oh. Uh-oh, that, that should go to zero. Okay, let's I'm gonna have to pause for just a second. Okay, I'm I think I'm getting tired. I, I, I just had a a uh, problem with the subtraction here. So if it wasn't for all this circular reference business, we would be just about finished. Let's get the CFADS from up here which already has the working capital changes and the uh, 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 taxes taken out. And then let's get the debt service. We can get it like this, perhaps, because later we're going to constrain it for that debt to capital problem. And then we can get the equity cash flow. Okay. And, and once we have that equity cash flow, we can say, let's, to let's get that total expenditure we had at the top. Okay, now, now this, this might change. It's gonna, we're, we're going to have less. Now, let's, get the, the, let's put the, the fees on the debt as our last stupid little input. Okay, and so I, I'm going to take that one multiplied by the debt itself. Okay, you can see I'm getting a little bit lazy, uh, and, and maybe we get in a little bit of trouble for this. Oh, screw them. And so we can multiply this by the uh, 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 acquisition flag. Okay, so we have to count for the le less debt. Whoops. Uh, uh, okay. Um, and. Let's put our debt in here, and remember always that debt is the amount we get right at the acquisition period. So 
our net equity invested is this minus this. Uh, yeah, you know where we'd have a problem if it was the 80% debt. We don't have it right now. Okay, and so our equity cash flow is the amount we get in our pocket minus the amount we take out of our pocket. And we get the equity IRR as X IRR of this one and the dates. Now, at the bottom, we can put a couple of valuation things. Let's do it at the end of the period for our X IRR. So that's not that bad, actually. Okay, maybe it's okay. And we didn't account, we, we've been a little bit negative because we haven't accounted for the. Uh, uh, the, the reduction in taxes you have for the interest. And then we can put target IRR. So let's go to our input C, maybe, and call this financing and valuation. And, and I don't know if... Uh, I, I guess if you do this, you shouldn't be like me and, and have this plane that was really late and all that stuff. Uh, uh, th this was 8%, and then we'd, we'd, we'd get it, and, and, and you put the uh, target IRR here. And uh, uh, what th this is for me, and, and this is going to be the, the, the problem, and then you can put NPV at target IRR. If you would do all of this, I would argue that they should hire you without getting into all of this circular reference business. But, you know, you, you have to show that you can do some of that stuff. So, again, this is a surprising kind of case. Now, th this should be negative. And then we, we can put a... a, a, a now we're going to do a goal seek. And we're, we're going to do a data, and hopefully everything's going to work out. I should have saved it first. Do a goal seek, what, uh, set this to zero by changing the, the, uh, the big headline number. Now, I can't do it right now because the goal seek's going to tell me that it has to contain a value. So I'll go do that. Now, I would even make a macro around that, but I'd say for this purpose, we don't really want to do it. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's do the goal seek. Let's go to data. What if analysis goal seek? And let's set this one to zero by changing the Okay, and then we can pay ninety six thousand. Now, when we pay or ninety six million, when we pay ninety six million, we're still nowhere close to that 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 problem. But what we really need to do is when we put this one, when we uh, uh, go down here. Now, this is in CB. Uh, 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 I'm going to put, call this one the, the cash flow waterfall. Okay, and I'm going to make another uh, little picture of this. Okay, and uh, so I was just going to tell you how we have to kind of arrange the, the, the taxes. Okay, I hope you can see, okay, and, and getting this circular reference and all that will be, will absolutely be a big deal, okay, and, and if you want to show you're just the top of the top, you've got to, well, the circular reference is going to, mechanically, it's going to be easy, but we're going to have to do the goal seek plus the circular reference and put it all in a stupid little macro because the iteration button really, I think, won't work with this one. And then we might want to do a little bit of work on this this stuff, and we'll have to do a little bit more work on the, putting.
putting all these scenarios in, and when we put those scenarios in, we're going to put a scenario number. So th this, this, th so we'll put one, and then what we'll basically do is copy these ones down, and we need to start with the base case. Maybe we'll put plus inflation. Okay, and whoop. And then we'll put, oh, come on, what, why did, what did I do there? Why didn't it like that? Okay, and, and maybe minus inflation and all the rest of those things. What was, what, what was another one? Let's just look at some of that stuff. Oh, God, I can't believe this. If, if, if plus variable O&M, okay, debt costs, okay. Uh, uh, all right, so so we put uh, uh, here. And then we can put minus variable one. And then what we do up here is just first copy this one over all the way over. Oh, we got to do our valuation too. I forgot about that one. And uh, uh, this will be good to do this a little bit wider. Okay. And then when you put your scenario number in here, put an equal index. Okay. And go across and get all of those scenarios and get the scenario number like that and then we're going to do the same thing equal index uh, uh, oof. and we'll go all the way across however many we went because we put all those different scenarios and then we we go up here and and lock that in now what i would do is just take it all the way down just screw it with all that stuff Okay, and then you don't worry, you, you kind of manually do some of this stuff. Okay, uh, uh, and then don't worry about the formatting again, because luckily we have our generic macros there. And maybe we have to do something about the goal seek. Maybe we put, put the goal seek on, the, on that other thing. Okay, uh, we're, we're getting there. Okay, I, I got to... Uh, uh, get down. Okay. Uh, come on. Oh, shit. God, do I hate this case. Uh, okay. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe I got a love hate relationship with this case. And then we, we just take the, these scenarios, of course. I say, of course. And, and you just uh, uh, copy it. So if we. I forgot if if the inflation rate was higher, we we would put the. Oh, where's our inflation rate? Uh, 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 Two point five percent, shift control P, and then if the inflation was lower, we put uh, one uh, 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 one one point five percent. And if you're really fancy, you format it kind of whenever it's different than the base case, you format it a little bit differently. And when you do that, then shift control, uh, uh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, just a minute. I, I, I realize I, I, I tried to do my little artificial intelligence with the stupid sum column or go and find out what the sum column is. And maybe that wasn't a good idea. And, and what I would do here is just press first press the reset button. And sometimes you're going to have some conditional formatting in there that you want to keep. So we do that. But then uh, uh, just take this one. Don't worry. Oh, no. We got rid of all the formatting. Uh, copy this. Uh, uh, Alt-E-S-T. 
and, and then maybe we need a couple a little bit wider even because of that big 100,000 that head, headline thing and then shift control control alt c again okay and uh, uh, if anybody's still watching this video i would be so shocked i couldn't believe it uh, uh, you should send me an email or whatever a comment and say i really watched it i need a prize and i'll give you a special button some button elvis button or something uh, uh, but then i don't want that thing at the top so let's uh, uh, Oh God, that's some well, that that some column thing. Maybe I gotta fix that one. Ah oh, shit. Uh, why is it? Okay, let's. We we don't want this one, so we have to reset it. And press yes, and then we uh, uh, do it again. Okay, and I was going to show you kind of how we need to redo the tax calculation. And we need to work through that whole uh, 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 thing. So now if I put scenario number two in here, then we'll have the plus inflation case three, the minus. And they seem to kind of want you to do that kind of stuff. OK, so eh, maybe I hated this case, but maybe that's because I hate financial modeling in a way. I love it when it's it's challenging and got creativity and presentation but some of this stuff is just is just torture okay so i'm gonna stop the video and we're gonna make that part one